what's up guys it's Banu from Android Dollar and in this video I'm gonna show you guys how to install the Flyme OS onto your Samsung Galaxy Note 3 so the Flyme OS is the OS used on Meizu devices and now it has been ported onto the Note 3 so you can install it uh, by following this tutorial so if you're happy about this ROM just go to XDA and hit on that thanks button and then go to the download section and uh, download the ROM along with the G apps and the root file. So once that is done, just uh, transfer the files to your device and uh, then you need to power it off. So once your device has completely powered off, just uh, hold the up volume power and the home button at the same time and uh, you will be booted into your recovery. Make sure you have the latest twerp recovery or the fill stutch recovery on your device and uh, make sure you are rooted as well. So once you are booted into twerp, the first thing you need to do is to get a full backup. So just uh, go to the backup section and uh, make a full backup. I have already done that so I'm not going to do it now. So next you need to go to wipe and uh, then you need to select uh, Dalvi cache, system, data and cache. Like I have shown in this and just swipe to wipe if you are using uh, Twer. So give it a few seconds. Alright guys, so once the wipe has successfully completed, just go back and go to install and then you need to select the place where you have the ROM. So I have it in my micro SD, so I'll be quickly picking it from there. Then you need to just hit on the Flyme OS uh, zip file. Swipe to install. So once the installation process is completed, just go, go ahead and install the GX file and the SuperSU root file. So once you have installed all three files successfully, just go ahead and hit on the reboot system now. So now your device will reboot. So I will be back once the setup process is completed. This is Flyme OS running on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So if you want something unique, if you want something different running on your device, then this ROM is a must have because it features something totally different. So this ROM is based on Android 4.4 KitKat and uh, you can install this even if you are on the lollipop bootloader or if you're on the KitKat bootloader so don't worry about that just go ahead and uh, install it so having a quick look at all the uh, system uh, elements of this ROM all the features are working according to according to the developer and uh, I even got 4G to work on this ROM so that's 
a major plus. So this uh, ROM also features a modified camera interface and it looks really nice in my opinion. And so far I have been playing with this ROM for around uh, 5 hours and uh, I have really loved the experience. So if you want something new then feel free to follow the tutorial and feel free to install the Fly Me ROM. Well guys, that's pretty much it when it comes to the installation process of the Fly Me ROM onto your Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to smack the like button and the subscribe button down below. Feel free to share this video with your friends who are using the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 because uh, this ROM will give them a unique experience and uh, change can sometimes be really good. So. Uh, Feel free to share this video and uh, drop a comment if you have any questions. I'll try my best to answer the questions. So until I see you guys in my next video, this is Banu signing out.